Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at the Android 9.5 One UI Beta 3 update for Galaxy S8 and Galaxy S8 Plus with the February 1, 29 security patch. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, let's start with the installation at first. So you need to press on the volume up and the power button and the big speed button to boot your Galaxy S8 into the TLR with recovery mode. And yes, it's my Galaxy S8 like I show it in every video. Yeah, I will change the boot look like quickly. So going into wipe. Okay, first you need to back up all of your previous data like previous ROM. So this is the beta 3. And it was out uh, after I made the beta 2 video. So that is really awkward. And you can see 3 Feb. Also, it has the February security badges. So the link is in the description. Just download and flash and proceed like I am doing. So it's starting the Aroma installer. Continue. I agree to install the ROM. Now this is a custom ROM and I cannot flash talk like the update .zip or it will be, my device will be stuck uh, with RNM lock. But I will take the risk with the official. So yeah, just wait for the official and I will make the uh, normal uh, video, the Odin method. So install stock camera stock sound yeah it has some mods so that's really awesome and also it has really really less amount of apps like it's light rom so and you can see samsung touch was launcher stock apps so what is this getting back samsung modded apps so yeah i'm going with uh, let's uh, i'm going with the samsung stop apps you can try mod it and the kernel you need to install Install Magisk if you want to root you can install Magisk and install now. So the beta 3 is in progress and now I'm like showing the installation for those who are like interested to flash beta 3 and the features which I'm showing into the beta 3 is for the like information for the guys like wondering what's in beta 3, beta 1, beta 2 so yeah and I will also share the change log so yeah don't worry let's let this like get installed and then we will start with the like quick look and review and guys it got installed as soon as I like stopped the recording so yeah it installed like really quickly so let's check until the boot animation so yeah this is the boot logo custom boot logo which I flashed while with the S9 ROM light ROM S9 ROM and still there so yeah and it's in the boot animation so our installation is successful. So let's wait till it boots up and then I will show you what extra features and also the change log. So guys, as you can see, the device has been booted and like for some time I like was taking a look at some features which are available and also some new features, but there is nothing new, but a lot of bug fixes have been done. So that is what I'm going to explain you guys in this video. So let's uh, go to about info, about phone info and you can see one year version 1.0, Android version 9, baseband still crap because I haven't flashed any firmware. And this is the ZSAI version as you can see it is stated in the change log, ZSAI. And it comes with February 1, 2019 security patch so we get the latest security patch and this build was like released 2-3 days ago. So now I have like just flashed it and it's really made smooth and stable no lags so the lags actually which were on the beta 2 are fixed so that's thanks and now let's take a look at the sum of the more stuff which is fixed so you can see this is the change log you can read uh, if you want you can like ask me down below I will just attach it and you can see the box has been fixed unlock with iris recognition the virtual keyboard appears for about one second and unlock when switch to secure folder it get hanged now this is a rooted device so sorry i cannot test that secret folder secure folder when change the video screen ratio to full screen camera apps gets forcibly closed when change the ratio so let's check uh, by if it's fixed or not so let's move this to full screen and you can see it works also if you want let's try it uh, for the front camera and it works so it is not force closing it is working really well let's take a look at some of the more options when switch to back screen it will not be switched automatically okay these are some minor stuff when screen is up and try to unlock the screen by using 
screen appears for a while and it is rapidly changed on screen so for that i need to set up a fingerprint so let's set it up like directly mm. fingerprints let's add a pattern just some easy pattern which i can remember okay, let's set up the fingerprint Mm, okay. Okay, I'm doing this, but yeah, the fingerprint position is not accurate. Okay, it's done. Let's check. Fingerprint seems much faster and the animation also seems really well in Pi. So yeah, this issue is also fixed. And uh, lock up occur after update and reboot. Okay, I don't know. When rotate an image in photo editor. So let's open photo editor here. Let's take an image. Photo editor gets closed when you rotate an image. So let's try and rotate this image. Oh, edit and rotate oh here it is it's rotating so yeah there are no force closures and it is getting saved so yeah this issue is also fixed button gets green rather than turning in blue let's turn on dolby atmos and the button is blue that is also fixed these are some minor issues in the system like changing framework values and system stuff then when you use kids mode okay for that lagging occur when click on the send app button so let's try uh, okay so it's smooth there are no lags okay so yeah, all of the minor stuff and all shit is fucked, uh, uh, fixed, sorry, not fucked, <laughs> sorry for that. And you can see, yeah, like, no extra shit is there, everything same. Just if we get this new version patch, you can see the February 1, 2019 patch, and yeah, everything is same. Build number ZSAI, as you can see here, the version, but the developer, like the Lightroom developer has removed it. So yeah, you can like uh, enable developer options. So yeah, that's it for the uh, beta 3. Uh, nothing much if you want to update to February security patch for security, you can do this. So yeah, and I recommend those who are on beta 1, just flash this. A lot of bugs have been fixed till now. And we will wait for beta 4 and yeah, also wait for my installation and review. Guys, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching this quick video on the beta and all of my other like older videos for the betas so bye bye guys i'll see you guys in the next video till then bye bye